Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. But do you believe like you're a lot of like, do you believe he smashed, he smashed Wendy? What? Do you believe he smashed Wendy to get that shit? No, I don't think Wendy is tight. I don't, I don't, I don't, I think think that to get back at me, he has told Wendy some intimate details. He broke the G code of telling my wife, soon to be ex, shit, that she would have no, you shouldn't have no business telling her unless you a really bitch, unless you got bitch all the way up in you, in your nipples, all in you. You gotta be like a, like if you a snitch. You gotta really have that shit in you to really tell him a nigga to, for your own benefit. And I think that for him, when he's seen a crack in the foundation, he owes you under the fact, you know, you gotta understand something too. When I met Charlemagne, a week later he was on fucking TV, yo. A week later, we had the VH1, VH1 was on fire. We had that shit on VH1. We was the first motherfuckers with that shit. I threw him right in there. A week later, after I met him, and put him on the radio. So he liked, like, like, you know, I did a lot for that little nigga. A lot. And, you know, I feel like when I took it away from him, it was like, nigga, you, you chose your fate. You chose which way you wanted to go. You going to Philly without me. If you was a real nigga, you'd be like, no, nah, I can't go without you. What the fuck? I don't care what's going on. When I cut him off, the day I cut him off, I sent him a text. I, I said, I ain't fucking with you no more. He was like, wow, what did I do? He responded on text. That's all I heard from that nigga. Now, if he really was my little brother and nigga, go through shit. You find me, nah, nigga, we got to work this out. We going to fight. We gonna, what, what is it? Nigga? What is it? Nah, it was none of that. He took it like his out. There's a lot of people in his ear at the time that was like, you don't need Kev, and you just do your thing. And then, you know, he had that half a faggot shit going on, which I did not know. There were definitely girls that hooked up with him, that now that they married, that they date they, they, now. I can give you a name, but I don't want to blow shorty up. Because she's like, Kev, I'm married now, I'm chilling, but that nigga definitely had dildos that you stick on the fucking wall in your house that when a girl want to fuck herself, excuse my French, they can fuck themselves. He had those. And she, she definitely, she definitely said he liked to be played with his ass. Like, she definitely was playing with his booty. And this is a girl that did, now she's married, but she used to do sensual massages, you know, so she be jacking niggas off money. So she, you know, ain't no shame in her game, but she's married now. But she said, yeah, I was playing with his booty for a second. You know, and I wanted some money for it. And then he cut me off because he knew, you know, he didn't want you to know that, you know, his fetishes. So, you know, at the time, I didn't know all of this shit. Like, he moved out of my house and I found out shit. Like, I used to have a maid come through there every week. Dirty little, dirty ass. A maid come there once a week just to make sure she was right. The maid stopped wanting to go in this room. I'm like, what you mean you don't want to go in this room? That's just part of the cleaning the house. You got to clean. She's like, no, 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 no. I didn't know what he was doing is when he left. And I'm the type I gave you privacy. Maybe I was wrong for that. I gave him his privacy. I, mean, uh, I was in and out. So I was like, all right, look, just keep the shit clean. Not thinking he was that damn dirty. I'm leaving you like a, my condo like $5,000 a month. So, you know, like, I'm thinking you got respect. I'm showing you love. I know if I had this love shown to me, I know you can't show that love to anybody, but if I had that love shown to me, I would definitely, you know what I'm saying, respect it. And then, and, and stepping down to us, I am 100% hetero nigga. So I could not read none of the signs at all. I'm like, you know, we just, that's my little dude holding on a crib over there. That's whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when, but the maid was like, she didn't want to go in there. Then I finally go in there. The bathtub is black. The bathtub is not even, it, it originally was like, I can't say it was white beige, like regular bathtubs, but my bathtub was probably like a, uh, it was one of those colored bathtubs and shit, like a, a hint of orange because it was kind of retro. I never changed the bathtub in his room, but that shit was black. Like, like, black, like, you gotta scrape that shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck he was doing in there. Like, the maid probably was so, she probably, she was Spanish, so she maybe thought this nigga was doing some ritual. She don't know what the fuck he was, but she did not want to go in there no more. At all. I didn't read, I didn't read none of that shit. This is a lot you have dumped on me today. This is a lot. Yo, listen, and this is part one, yo. This is part fucking one. After my show, what are you doing tonight? See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We are-
all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Long lasting, irresistible, warm and sensual. What came to your mind because it better have been perfume. <laughs> Le Bijou Parfum to be exact because they offer premium quality and long lasting fragrances with a bottle that is infused with a girl's best friend. Right, a diamond by Swarovski. If you're feeling electric and irresistible, try Le Bijou Parfums, Venetia scent, or maybe you're feeling exotic and sensual, so you should try their Jezebel Bombshell Oud scent. Explore these fragrances and more at LeBijouParfum.com or click the link below. Y'all remember that damn song, don't y'all laugh at me, why knows, but for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend Lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. I'm going to tell you, this is what I'm going to tell you. If you're going to go after this dude, okay, that, that's, 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 I want to know what you want to accomplish because everything, I'm, I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. Even when all that shit went down with that girl Jessica, like 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 whatever choking them was doing, that was bullshit. I put the I put the gas on that shit when I sent it to the fucking blast and all that shit. And they had his, and that's what got his ass off of the HBO shit. That's what made them want to go after me really hard. Because I had a sloppy publicist at the time, Danny. He sloppy faggot ass. He went, and, I don't know what he did, but he leaked the whole shit and, and kind of blew it up. But he know I did. He know I made a phone call and put the gas on that shit. Okay, I have a, a very, I, I despise this little nigga. I, I feel like I'm the only nigga that can take him out because I brought him in. But, you know, it is, it's, it's definitely a serious situation. Okay, and I, and you don't need no motherfucking receipts for the shit I'm going to tell you because if the nigga hear you, you know, he's going to be squeaking. You're going to see his reaction because he's a bitch. He's going to immediately start attacking. I ain't got no more skeletons no more. Okay, so he could do it. And Wendy, whatever Wendy trying to do with him and shit, Whatever I heard they was trying to do, like, you know, I don't even care. Because I know it's not going to get off the right way, because I already know our state of mind, and I know where he at. And right now, he's at his weakest right now. With all three of them are trying to scurry to get their shit together. You know what's going on with them, Star, right? Like, they trying to get rid of them. You know, he dislinked the Breakfast Club from all of his profiles. He yeah. He can't do shit no more. He trying to do this shit with YouTube, but YouTube, he ain't a YouTube original. They ain't put him in yet. He trying to build it with all his fat. He using his faggot code to get these interviews. I don't know how he got Gucci, man. I don't care. But the little nigga definitely was sucks, and he definitely would go in a fucking room and, and do whatever he got to do. That's what I found out about him. And in terms of exposing the real nigga, and he just, you know, he, call me. Because the girl is the key to the whole shit. You can pull her out of hiding, it's crazy for that nigga. It's curious. He keep playing hiding for a reason. She pull out. Look at her. Look at her. As much shit as he talk, look at that girl. She that ugly. That nigga never, you That nigga, when I used to invite him, when we was all cool, I invited him to Thanksgiving, then he didn't bring her. She was living a bit. He would never bring her around. Never. Ever. And the way he carried on... He talking shit about me. The way he carried on his girl, there must be some understanding because that nigga was fucking everything, man. Everything. Mm-hmm.